supposed to be an idiot. Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and yeah. welcome to episode one of my mod organizer series to rebuild my Skyrim game and put all my mods into mod organizer. And today we're going to start with the basics. We're just going to be doing SKSE, also known as Skyrim Script Extender. As some of you may know, I have already done a video for SKSE using Nexus Mod Manager, and a lot of the same apply, but let's go over a little bit of the background. SKE was developed by a group called Silverlock.org, and it is essentially a key. It's a key that modders use to unlock the scripts in the Bethesda coding. Now, those modders make great games such or great mods such as Communion Horses, Skyrim Redone, and Sky UI. In order for you to use those mods, you have to have the same key. Now, using Mod Organizer is a little bit different. It's a kind of a little old school method, but I wanted to go over with you on how to install it. So let's go into our internet and we can pull up the SKE, SKSE file that we need. You can see we go to skse.silverlock.org. And normally I would suggest using the installer like we did for the Nexus Mod Manager, but it's going to be a little bit different. We want the 7Z archive for version 1.7.1. So you just go ahead and hit download. There you go. Now I already have downloaded it and it's on my desktop already. And what you're going to do with this file, you're going to unpack it. So you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip, however you do it, but you're just going to extract files here. And there we go, there's our file. Now when you open this up, you're going to need a couple of things. You can see it has these SKE underscore different file names, and those are going to be the guts of the program. And those are going to go into your Skyrim file. And then you have data. We'll come back to that in just a second. So we're going to move this over. And we are going to open up our hard drive. I have it on my E drive. And you can see we're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim. Now you know you're in the correct file when you see this right here TESV application. Also has a Skyrim launcher application, so you know it's basically the same thing. So we want the TESV. Now what we're going to do is copy all seven of these files. And we're just going to move them. And we're done. We're done with that portion of it. Now, like I said, that's the guts, and it will stay in that Skyrim directory and do its job. So basically we can shut that down. Now the next thing we're going to do is take the data folder. And we're going to remove it. Okay. Now that's on the desktop. We can close this. And essentially we've done with everything we need with these two files. We can now take them and throw them away. We keep our desktop clear so we don't make any mistakes. Now we have our data file. And inside here we have the scripts and a bunch of other stuff. But essentially that's what we need. So now that we have our data file in here, we're going to repackage it using Add to Archive, and we're going to name it SKSE Data, just like that, and press OK. And now you can see we have a compressed file, and it's called SKSE Data. That's just to keep an eye on it. So this is now ready to be sent over to Mod Organizer. We can open that up. And uh, something you may have just noticed right now, it always already is recognized as KSE because we have put the launcher inside of our uh, Skyrim file. It's ready to go, but it's not ready to run yet. So you still need to add the data files to the mod organizer. Now what we need to do is install a new mod from an archive. Click and press that. And it's going to pull up your last known location. Mine just happens to be desktop because that's where I've been playing with it. And you're going to click that. SKSE data. That's our file that we're looking for. And you click open. Now you can rename it if you like. We'll go ahead and do that. I just want it to be SKSE. And you're going to click manual. Now this is kind of important here. And you see the game data is not, you know, on top on the top level. Now what you need to do is 
right click on data and set data directory. Now you can see it's now scripts and it looks good. And we can press OK. There we go. And we can click activate. All right, guys, so this is an edited portion. I want to thank W over at the Step Project for pointing this out to me and uh, how it could potentially cause problems. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this with SKSE. What you're going to do is right click on it and open an explorer and you're going to see scripts and meta any that's the uh, files we actually took out of the um the winzip file or the seven zip file the winrar file and create a mod as you remember but there's one more thing we need to do we need to add in the skse dot any file so let's go ahead and close this and we will open up our search from the nexus and we will go ahead and hit search and we're just going to put skse and see what comes up and the one we're going to look for is the skse any pre-downloaded and you'll see right down here that there are two files i'll include the link for this by the way uh you have the any settings now it may sound like that's the correct one but actually you want the no, no war paint tweak uh, the same but without the war paint tweak okay so it's kind of confusing remember to do this a little differently you can either download it manually I've already downloaded it to my desktop but we can hit download with manager and we will go ahead and continue our download and we'll go back and we will look at our downloads and it's doing the no war paint tweak now you can do it either way. You can either download from the archive and do it from my desktop, but this is probably the easier way to do this. And we are going to double click this. And you see I've already renamed it SKSE from a previous install. It will come up no war paint tweak main version 1.0, but this is the important part. Rename it SKSE. Okay. Cause we're going to merge it into SKSE over here and you hit manual. And you can see it has no data on the top level, so we right-click on data and set data directory, and now it looks good. And we hit OK. We want to merge the mods. And what it did is it took the files from this and put it into SKSE. So we want to see this. Right-click, open an explorer, and now you have an SKSE file that has the SKSE any in it. Okay? So there you go. We'll go and close that down. So the next thing you want to do is run loot and sort plugins. I found that if you just do this without running loot, it will not run correctly. Okay. And we hit apply. And close it down. And close it down. There you go. All right. Now back to our regular programming. So now it's been updated. It's got its new file in it. And you have your launcher. Okay. Now I want you to go ahead and just double check this and you SKSE and you can see when we put it that information that loader SKSE underscore loader dot exe mod organizer automatically recognized it and included it in the executables to launch it from SKSE. Now let's find out if it works shall we and we hit run. And what it's going to do is it is going to run Skyrim for me. And every time we do this, and every time you want to play your game, you're going to have to open up Mod Organizer, and you're going to have to run it through SKSE. Now, let's find out if it actually got installed correctly. So you hit your tilde key, which is the button to the left of the one. You can see it opens up that grayed out bar with a cursor in the bottom left. And what you're going to type in is these words. All one word, lowercase, get... SKSE version and hit enter. Get SKSE version, SKSE version 1.7.1. Very good. So it's done. SKSE is now downloaded and installed. We can now close this. Everything is good to go. So just remember every time you want to play your Skyrim game, come and hit SKSE and hit run. So there we go. That's done. We can now toss all this other stuff away. And now you can start your basics. I mean, you can now 
go on to install those great mods we talked about and to start improving your game and your Skyrim experience. In our next episode, we'll be going through some of the unofficial Skyrim patches, loot, and TS5 edit. So that's it for now. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing out. I took an arrow, 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 arrow. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow and